and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we are gonna get a peek at an exhibit opening at the Charles Taylor Gallery. My guest is Diana Blanchard Gross, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. So glad to be here. Yeah. <laughs> so the holidays are a wonderful time to go inside. Yes, <laughs> Not yes. that there's a bad time to visit yes. an art gallery, but you guys have wonderful rotating displays and this one is is kind of fun this one this one is really fun um we this is called small works and we have challenged our artists to think instead of thinking large um, which is really easy to do as far as like paintings and things um, we've challenged them to think small so um really you know small drawings small um, sculpture um a little bit of everything and we have actually dimensions like pieces can't be larger than eight by ten um 3d work sculptures obviously have the same thing they can't be you know but so large and so it really you know challenges the artist to think you know in us in a smaller sense so it's really a great um it's a you know just a great way to see you know wonderful art and we get you know, because it's small, you know, we have a lot of artwork on the wall. So we had, oh my gosh, I bet. We had um, a little less than 500 pieces of art that were submitted <laughs> by all of these artists. So I think, you know, anyone that comes through the galleries will find something that they really like. And if they really like it, we encourage them to purchase it because with small works comes small prices. Um, and we really want to, you know, you might not have, you know, room in your home for, you know, a mm -hmm. large painting or something like that. But, you know, with these works, you, I mean, I think you can find space. So, you know, we have some wonderful pieces here. We have a gorgeous drawing. Um, well, let's talk about those. And, yeah. And I'm going to have to wait for them to zoom in because I can't see them right <laughs> at the moment. But let's talk about that drawing. Yeah, we have a wonderful um, pencil drawing by um, by local artist Mary Ruff gorgeous I mean you look especially with drawing I feel that um, you know people you know can paint really well sometimes but drawing takes an extra effort extraordinary talent to to draw really well and she does a remarkable job um, we have oh, an, that's beautiful and it's so yeah. detailed yes some yes, of these yes. little works have have more detail almost because you've got to you yeah. know, scale them down. Exactly. We have a couple um, paintings. Uh, this one over here is uh, Whistler's, uh, James Whistler's, his mother, very famous piece. And the artist has kind of recreated that, um, obviously on a smaller scale. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then just a wonderful little landscape. I mean, and it's it's on board. It's it's just I, so... I it's, love that. You don't think uh, particularly about a landscape being small because yeah. they're supposed to be yeah. grand but yeah. that works really well yeah. with the colors and everything I yeah. love them yeah yeah so we're we're excited to host it I mean it's just a great you know it's great especially during the holidays what's a better gift than art um, for your loved one I and agree. and even you know get the kids involved you know bring them to the art center um, tour them around and see what um, see what art they like I remember you know, taking my son, you know, to different, you know, festivals and, you know, and give him a little, you know, little cash and let him choose something and let him be part of the process, mm -hmm. you know, and, and starting his own collection. So, um, so I encourage, you know, you know, families, parents, um, to, to get involved and, and to, you know, really encourage, you know, art, um, in their kids lives so. yeah it's wonderful well this is um you might have to hold that up i'm afraid yes to touch it. <laughs> yes well, this is a great piece this is from rich gray he is an uh, origami he's a paper artist but he's done this little heron um origami um amazing and the lovely little wreath um oh the God, swamp yeah. and stuff like that so and then he's put it under this wonderful little um, little kind of dome here. It reminds me of like when um, you see like shipbuilders and stuff and they put the, right, um, right. you know, uh, they put the little model ships inside the bottles. But this is so 
I mean, it's such talent, you know, to to create something like this. It's amazing. So it's, um, you know, and you know, we just love we just love seeing different media represented. So it's it's wonderful. That's neat. So. And I will tell people. I mean, they can see how big it is compared to you. But when yes. they zoomed in, it was much bigger <laughs> on the screen than it is in person. Yeah, yeah. So, but that's one of one of our pieces. So um, yeah, we're you know we have some other pieces over here. Um, we have this wonderful piece um, of this woman that's done this. This is an oil painting. Are you kidding? Um, and it's of all these wonderful little um, elephants there. And then we have a nice little clay sculpture, a little uh, sheep, lamb, sheep. And um, so, so cute. I mean, you know, artists that, you know, just use different media. We, mm -hmm. I love it. I love having the variety. I do so, too. And that could go in a kid's room, but you would put it up high. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, but. And that uh, oil paint, I can't believe. Yeah. Yeah. The oil's that tiny. Yeah. yeah. So there's it's, a lot for us to see. There is. There is. So, you know, um, we open up December 3rd and, you know, we welcome everyone to come in and, um, you know, and join us. Um, also, during the time, we have our, we have a fine arts bazaar um, for the holidays, which is December 10th and 11th, um, Saturday and Sunday. So it's That a, is nice. So, so the, in addition to the small works that are exhibited, yes. you're going to have it like upstairs in one of the We're going to have, it's actually going to be, it's actually going to be in the galleries. Oh, we'll okay. have all, you know, all the tables set up and everything. So like this gentleman here, uh, Rich Gray, has a table that's, you you know, that he'll set up with like, he does all sorts of origami piece. Um, he does origami earrings. He does, you know, mobiles and stuff like oh. that. So he'll have more of his work um, there at the, at the bazaar. So we're excited to have him and all the other artists, you know, we have clay artists, paintings, photography, and it's just a great you know, way for artists to kind of showcase, um, you know, their wares, their artwork, um, and, uh, you know, and, and it's just for the two days, so you got to hurry up and, and, that's good. and get that's it. That's good Christmas shopping right there. Definitely. That's perfect. Definitely. So. And you also have a festive cocktail party coming up. Yes, yes. On uh, Friday, December 16th, um, we have our cocktails at the Charles. We've done this a couple times with really great um, reception. Um, attendance you know from the community and we always have um, we've had the last couple times we've had a mixologist um, from uh, Fuller's Raw Bar that comes in he creates you know we tell him what's kind of going on with the exhibition and obviously the holidays and he creates a wonderful drink um, and so you know everyone that registers um, and gets a ticket to get a free drink um, and then or if they want, they can also have a mocktail, um, and then um, and then they get a chance to talk with the judge of the exhibition because we do give out awards um, to the artist, you know, to kind of help, you know help keep them you know working small so um, we have a judge that's coming that's going to give out awards and we want him to talk a little bit about the process as well as um, having the artists there to talk about their works because it's a great you don't necessarily get that when you're just looking at the artwork and so no, it's always it's, nice it's always nice to hear from the artists it does it can add another dimension so I know what I see <laughs> in the work but other you know the artist may have meant something else and yes my interpretation might be just fine too, yes. but it's nice you get that um, kind of expanded view. Yeah, definitely. So. Well, that sounds lovely. And <laughs> if people miss it during the holidays, this exhibit does run into the new year. Yes, it right? does. It does. Um, I recommend everyone to kind of, you know, go onto our website to make sure you have the dates um, and when we're open, um, you know, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 6. So just come on by, you know, we're right next to the um, the Hampton Public Library, lots of parking, mm -hmm. so it's it's a great opportunity to to you know for families, kids, everyone to come on by and take a look. And are you still free? We are. So except for the cocktail party, except for the cocktail party, <laughs> we are free. So there's there's really no excuse. Yeah, that is perfect, especially over the holidays. The kids are getting a little antsy. You got to get out yes. of the house. Yes, definitely. Right. So. Well, thank you so much for coming by, Diana. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Love to. <laughs>
And thank you for watching. I hope you've gotten a chance to really see some of the detail in these small works. Um, there's big effort, but small works. <laughs> so I hope you will come by and take a look. They're open into mid-January, um, but December would be a great time to do some holiday shopping. Thanks for watching.